Dr. Johnson, as a superintendent, has done some great things and has done, done some not so great things. The hiring of Jeffrey Hernandez was a mistake, which we then retracted and let, doc, let Jeffrey Hernandez go. But I think overall, Dr. Johnson has been effective. I think Dr. Johnson has done a good job. I think Dr. Johnson has continued to make the Palm Beach County Schools an A-rated school. And Dr. Johnson is an, a passionate man about education. He cares about education. That is something hard to find. As a superintendent, he has made some bad choices. We have accepted those choices. He has accepted the choices that he has made and, and realized when they were wrong and when they were right. And as I said before, he let one of them, those mistakes go. But overall, he has been effective. He has done a good job. And our graduation rate is at 80%. And it's going to continue to grow with me on the board. At this point right now, uh, with the, uh, the economy we are in, I do not believe that step raises could be. I think they should be, but they could not be at this time. One of the things that Palm Beach County has done is we have met, made sure that our teachers continue to have jobs. Broward County, Dade County has been laying off their teachers. We have not laid off our teachers. Our teachers still have jobs. They, are still, they, they, they still have their benefits. They still have jobs. And that is one thing that the, our teachers have said they want. They know that they, they, they did not get a pay raise this year, but they were okay with that because they still have their jobs. And I think that's one of the things that's very important. Uh, I do believe teachers need to make more money. I do believe, as I've always said, teachers should be one of the hardest jobs to get and one of the highest paid positions. And we need to figure out a way to maximize the earning potential of our teachers. And we need to figure out a way to make sure that they are properly paid so teachers come to our district, people come to our, our, our county to teach. At this point, uh, you know, we, we, the, the pay for performance was vetoed, uh, so that is not something that, that I can answer at this point. It is my job as a board member to adhere to what is written by the legislature. Uh, so when you ask me what I could support or what I can't support, it's just, there, there's, there's nothing on the table right now that we are looking at, or at least that I've seen, that is allowing me to say, hey, this is what I can support, this is what I can't support. At this, at this point in time, I need to get on the board, I need to evaluate, I need to see what's going on, and I need to fight for the teachers and for the constituents and go to Tallahassee and work hard to make sure that we do what's fair for our teachers, and not only our teachers, but all the administrators, all the staff, the janitors, the, the lunchroom attendants, the transportation providers, the teachers, the administrators, all those people make up our system. They are all what creates a safe place for our children to go. From the time they get go to school in the morning, on the bus to the time they leave the day, leave at the end of the day, it is all these people that make sure that our children get the best possible education in the safest environment possible. I am not a politician, I will tell you. I am a concerned parent. I have three children that are vested, that are going into the system. I have a vested interest for the next 16 years. I was an educator. I worked at Spanish River High School. I taught for a year and a half. I substituted Spanish River. I'm a businessman. I understand education, I understand business. We need somebody that understands both. We do not need career educators, we need people that understand both. There are two components to the school board. You have an educational component and you have a business component. We need somebody that can work with both, that can work with numbers, that can work with the budgets, that can work with the contracts, and that can write policies that the superintendent adhere, adheres to. It is my job, my job to make sure that every child in Palm Beach County gets an equal and fair education. My qualifications, I'm a businessman. I understand education. I've worked in education. And I also have a vested interest for the next 16 years because I have three children going into the system. And that is the main reason why I'm doing this. Because my children and all the other children and want to make sure that at this point in my life, when I have an opportunity to give back, that I can. And I want to. And I want to make a difference.